Kaylee. <laughs> I'm their granddaughter. Um, and I thought that it would be cool if I take you guys on a little journey through the timeline of music. So we're going to start with a little hometown composer you might know, Mozart. <laughs> Here's his clarinet concerto in A major, but I'm playing it in B flat today. <laughs> I forgot to tell you she's from Auburn. <laughs> Why <are you>
Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, not as great without a live orchestra, but we make do. <laughs> um, so we're going to skip a huge period we call the Romantic period, because that's all like symphony stuff, and I can't do that alone. <laughs> so um, moving on to the 20th century, we have a little guy named Debussy. I'm sure you guys know of him. He's an um, amazing um, Impressionist writer. So Impressionism applies to art as well as music. And so it's basically like they um, create based on what they see. And so uh, with Debussy, he created this piece based on what he saw in the night sky. So please enjoy Claire de Lune. Oh.
So, skipping ahead again, we have now entered the era of jazz music, so like 20s-ish. You guys should be familiar with this next one. It's a Brubeck chart, which is what we call jazz pieces, because usually there aren't, they aren't like written out or anything. There's like a bunch of chords, and you just kind of play what you feel. <laughs> and so it's a chart of chords. And so I'm going to invite my co-workers and family <laughs> members, um, Daryl McGee on drums and Alex McGee on bass. Thank you. 
y'all definitely won't recognize the next one. It's um, a bit odd to be playing it here since we're in a Methodist church, but <laughs> it is a Jewish tune, which is kind of what the clarinet is known for nowadays. Um, so what they call this, Jewish music, um, plesmer is what they call it. So this one is called Fun Toshlosh. Not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs>